Hello, hello, and welcome back to Cars of Glasgow. I'm Thomas, and today you join me inside my new, newest purchase, well, new to me. It is a 2010 Toyota IQ. So stay tuned for this one. So Toyota IQ, you're wondering what it is. It is a small city car that Toyota made from about 2009 to about 2015 here in, here in the UK was sold. And it was sold in America as a Scion IQ. And you could also get an upmarket version if you fancy it called an Aston Martin Sigma. Uh, those are the two models, the Scion and the Aston Martin, are actually longer than the IQ Toyota. I think this is just under three meters, whereas both those models are just over three meters in length. So Google says. The particular, this particular car has a one litre petrol engine, about 67, 68 horsepower, depending on where you read. Zero to 60 almost feels like never, however, it is 14.6 seconds claimed. You may be here in the background, I've been sitting down, a little bit of a whine. That is the CVT gearbox. So today's model is an automatic with CVT gearbox. You can also get a manual as well if you desire. And this particular one, is almost purple and purple and purple. <laughs> I remember this car has got purple. So we've got a plum leather interior, we've got a metallic purple paint on the exterior, we've got a purple key fob, and all the door panels as well are all kind of purple plum colour as well. I want to call it baby aubergine or baby orange, I, mean, I don't know, something like that, but what do you guys think? Comment below if you've got a cool name for this car. So the story behind this car is I wasn't actually looking to buy an IQ or really another car. Uh, <laughs> my friend Chris was selling this car and I kind of felt it was too good to pass up uh, just because it'd been an automatic and something quirky and different in its cheap run. Uh, have an SE 430 where you get between 17 and 20 feet a gallon. This car averages about 53 to 65 to a gallon uh, in the two weeks that I've owned it. Uh, I've just done a 200 mile trip up north right up to the uh, top of Scotland and the cars managed about 63 to a gallon on that trip. I did have to fold the rear seats down because if you want to carry anything other than sunglasses and a pencil case, you're going to have to fold the rear seats because there's not much big room. However, that being said, with the seats folded, it's ideal for me just to come bring my suitcase and have a laptop bag. Yeah, and you can kind of get enough for a few days in the back of this vehicle. You're not going to be doing airport shuttle runs in this car. Uh, a main attraction of this is kind of the running cost, as I mentioned. The MPG is good. Road tax is £20. I believe you can get it either for free or I think it's free um, for the, automa the manual one, sorry, because it's automatic. You need to push it up. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe from what I've read on some IQ Facebook groups. Also, the insurance in this car was £68. So basically for under £100, £88 if you're adding the maths, I've managed to get this car insured and on taxed service and able to here during December, so we'll see what happens then. I just like how compact and bijou the car is. It's quite quirky, it's got some big car toys in it. So we've got, as I've mentioned, automatic gearbox, we've got parking sensors that you might hear bump up a little bit there. Keyless go, keyless entry, automatic headlights. Um, it's, got, it's got a whole bunch of gadgets. I think it's quite good. It's got electric folding wing mirrors. Uh, I keep calling them wing mirrors, safe view mirrors. And yeah, it's pretty. It's got kind of all the kind of big car toys in a small car. The only thing it's missing it seems to be cruise control. Uh, I know IQ aficionados are going to be saying it's about sat nav, etc. But for my needs, um, cruise control would have been nice. But it is nice just to have a wee run around. I will do a full depth uh, review on the IQ once I get more knowledge of the car, more in depth, uh, kind of owner feedback uh, to you guys that I've only drove it a couple of times. I can tell you it's not got a glove box, um, just because they've got a, these magnets, you can put a net there, and ideal is to slide that seat forward so you can get a full adult in the back. So little kind of quirky features like that that make the IQ stand out, apart from obviously the stand out, <laughs> this, this car is tiny. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video on the IQ. This is my new purchase. And as always, stay safe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video on this channel. Uh, and the IQ review will be with you guys soon. Ciao.